Mike, looking at the um, the Jaguars game again, the, some of the first downs and second downs where you guys had negative plays, whether it be penalty, sack, negative plays, really just seemed to kill any momentum you might have had. How do you how do you flip that? How do you how do you kind of avoid those situations again? Yeah, we got to be uh, we got to be more efficient on first down. You know, I mean it's. That's pretty simple, right? It, the, the more third manageables you can be in, uh, the better it's going to be, the better you can sustain drives. Um, not just the Jacksonville game, but, I mean, it's it's felt like that for a few weeks now. And, uh, you know, we, we got to be better. Um, so I got to call better plays. I got to coach better. Uh, we got to coach better. Then we got to go execute better, uh, you know, to put our put our whole team in situations where we can, uh, you know, get in those third and manageables and, and continue to move the ball. What's up? What's been missing in the running game the last couple of weeks? Um, the running game takes all 11, all right? And it takes, a, obviously, a good plan, but it also takes a mentality uh, from, from every single guy. Me calling enough runs, me calling the, uh, the runs at the right time, giving enough um, runs that keeps the defense off balance because – it's not high school. You can't just run the same run over and over and over, right? And uh, you know, so there's just it's just been um, it's been a magnitude of things. Where I keep preaching to the guys, we have ran the ball. There was a there was a, a point in the season where we were a running team and we were doing a lot of uh, good things in the run game, and that's kind of fallen off in the last month. And as you can see, uh, when you're not running the ball, what can happen? Um, and it hasn't been good, and it starts with me. But um, you know, we plan on getting that fixed now. You know, piggyback off of that, just how would you assess the offensive line play? Uh, you talked about how the team has played the last month, so just what are your assessments on that? Yeah, um, you know, any O line take a lot of pride uh, in the run game. You know, uh, you want to see a extremely happy group come into a locker room after an O-line's rush for 175 yards and got a, got a win, 200 yards uh, last year versus Jacksonville. I think we ran for like 292, and I don't know if I've seen a more excited offensive line after a, a regular season win. Uh, you know, so um, they take a lot of pride in it, and uh, we as coaches take a lot of pride in the pride that they take. Uh, you know, so I, I, I got to do my part in giving them enough runs and give them enough opportunities to, to get that thing going. Um, but um, they're going to keep battling. I know that, you know. Um, it's uh, it's been a whirlwind of different guys in there, uh, but any any guy that we have in there, uh, we feel confident is going to get the job done, and uh, they got another opportunity this Sunday to get that done. On the same lines with with the offensive line. I mean, you always protecting the quarterback is the number one thing. Obviously, we know that. But since Mike is coming back from what he's coming back from, how much more of an emphasis is it to make sure he's protected? Yeah, I mean it's. Um, Every week you want to protect the quarterback, you know. So, I mean, there's no more emphasis right there. You know, maybe there is. You'd have to, I guess, maybe ask those guys, you know, how, how they're feeling about it. Um, whoever's back there, they want to protect them. You know, they got personal pride. They got, they got pride as a group uh, to protect whoever's back there, um, you know. I know Mike's said it, and we we feel. I mean, Mike feels fine, so it's not like it's this lingering thing or anything like that. So, uh, but they're they're going to take pride in in any situation uh, to get that done. Do you think this team Mike's, is at its best when it's a running team? Uh, I think this team's at its best when we're playing complementary football, and and you know, there's been times where uh, over the last month where. You know, we've we've tried to force the run game, and, and the defense has been stacking the box, and, and you still got to be able to run the ball regardless. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, t for us to be as good as we got to be, we got to be complementary. We got to be able to spread the ball around. Uh, you got to be balanced, like I've always talked about, and not just balanced in terms of the run and pass, but balanced with who's getting the touches. Um, you know, and um, we we had that going for a minute. And we've we've lost sight of that a little bit, starting with me. Uh, so we got to get that done. Just having Mike back. Um, they, you know, just Mike in general. I mean, they have a they, they got a lot of confidence in Mike. Um, you know, again, that's a, that's probably a question for them in terms of uh, the energy that they feel. Uh, but um, you know, I know they're excited to get out there. What's next for Zach? Keep working. He's, you know, he's a New York Jet, and that's not changing, and that's that's the way uh, my mindset is. Rob Calabrese, anyone else associated with it, you know, he comes to work, um, and he's got to be prepared to not just get better, but pre uh, prepared to play. Uh, what the last few years has taught us, I, obviously we're out of the COVID world, but what the last few years has taught us is you always better be ready, and that's always been the league, the next man up, but it's, it's really um, uh, kind of changed our mindset with things, and, you know, I don't think we all thought Strebler was going to be in there last Thursday, if you'd asked about a month ago, but 
we had to prepare Streveler uh, for that moment. And on a short week with basically no reps, he went in there and um, did about as good of a job as you could ask a man to do. You know, so uh, nothing changes with Zach in terms of the preparation that we're going to put for him and the and the work that we're going to put in for him. What, what gives you the confidence in Zach that he can still be a successful quarterback? He's a talented football player. He's a talented thrower. You know, there's there's like we've talked about. There's things in the physically in the lower half that that we got to get corrected, and it's a uh, it, we can start that today. We can start that last week, a month ago. We can start that last uh, April in OTAs, um, but it's it's going to be all encompassing. It's going to be um, again the work he puts in today, but going through that whole off season, just find resetting that lower half, getting those feet in the ground, getting balanced, um, and seeing where uh, he can improve there. Do you point to the quarterback you're playing against this week at all with with Zach and sort of say? Not every not every career trajectory is a is a straight line. Yeah, I mean it's a the the Geno story. I mean, I, mean, I think we've all kind of followed it throughout the year. It's it's been really cool. I I, I don't. I can't go back to the time when he was here and stuff like that, and and, and um, what happened or why it happened. Uh, but you know, for for him to be resilient through this whole time, I mean, I'm sure there's people that didn't even know he was in the league, you know, a few years ago, and here he is having the year that he's having. Uh, it's been a pretty cool deal, not just for quarterbacks, but but just for players in general to be uh, resilient, you know. So um, you, you wish him all the success moving forward. Obviously, this Sunday, uh, you know, you don't wish too much success with it, but uh, um, it, it's a pretty cool deal for him. Mike, looking at your, your first possessions in games, right, theoretically, you're scripting that, those are your, your best plays. You feel like you have 11 punts this year and one touchdown. Drives. I know recently it's been kind of wacky. You started the two yard line a couple times last week in plus territory. What, what is not happening on those first possessions? Yeah, like, I'm sure you spend a lot of time during the week <laughs> scripting that stuff. What's just not happening? Yeah, like I said, I mean, I, I'm not going to go through all the, you know, all those games. Uh, you know, dating back to September and October, but just recently, uh, for sure. I mean, outside of Chicago, it's just, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter about the field position. Like, I, that, that can't be a mindset for our, for anybody. Me, um, obviously, the play calls are going to change a little bit when you're inside the five yard line, no doubt. You got to get out of there. Uh, the, the, if you talk to Sala about when you start inside the five, he looks at that as a turnover for the defense because you should be pretty fired up to have a backed up situation. You should be pretty fired up to to give the offense back the ball inside the fifty. That can't be our. We got We got to get it out of there, and then we got to keep it going. You know, I saw a a good Jacksonville offense last week. Um, you know, against a very good defense in ours, and uh, just be efficient and pound it away for ninety eight yards and. Um, you know, so I'm not going to sit up here and make excuses. It starts with me. I got to I got to figure out uh, uh, better ways to, to get our guys going, starting fast. I feel feel you know good um, when we are able to get our adjustments going and, and stuff like that. But but we got to start better. There's no doubt. Uh, as far as Mike and uh, the, the running game as well, I know you talked about that. Just what what are some ways that he can uh, get like. Open up the offense and look at the passing and open up the run a little bit more. Yeah, just play his game. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing you know magical that Mike's going to do other than just play his game. And that's what we ask from all these guys. You know, so uh, when the when the shots there to take, take it. When the intermediate plays there to uh, to be made, make it. When it's not there, get the ball out of your hands, check it down. He does a great job of um, of going through his progressions. Um, and uh, and getting the ball where it needs to go, you know, and and so we're not asking him to be any any different than he was. Uh, just go out and, and play your game, and uh, you know that'll be good enough. Has your brother ever given you a better Christmas present? I don't know if he's ever given me a Christmas present, so. <laughs> but on the Sunday, but, right? but but on the uh, yeah that that was uh, that was a good good gift for for all of us. So I'm not going to say it's just for me. It's uh, it was for all of us. It was cool, you know. I was. Um, Obviously, we're off because we played the Thursday, and uh, just be able to sit back and watch that with my wife, and be pretty stoic throughout. But when they got the when they got the W, um, you know, it was probably the first smile I had all weekend. <laughs> you can return the favor this weekend. There's no doubt. There's, there's no <laughs> doubt.